when when I was watching this um, documentary, something actually stood out for me, which was uh, which was a clip by Halima Khan, and she said that the word Palestine was used to was used as a search term by uh, the party staffers for uh, to find members of to potentially investigate for suspension or even expulsion from the Labour Party. We were instructed to scour through Facebook pages and social media pages of individuals who we were looking for anti-Semitic material for. The word Palestine was included as a search term, which was the thing that alarmed me the most. We would act almost immediately to any inquiries that would come in from the Jewish Chronicle or Jewish News, um, even if it was, you know, at close of play, we would often get instructed by the directors to just stay behind so we can take action on those those individuals. So for me, this this uh, video um, was a bit shocking because I also talked with, with some uh, friends who were suspended from the Labour Party and, and they feel that a huge sense of intimidation and they feel that they're being um, silenced when it comes to Palestine. Have you felt the same and how do you feel? With, with these sorts of operations, what you do is that you make a term that you want uh, outlawed and, and you want to become the object of censorship, you make it a dirty word. Uh, we know very well that this has been done with socialism, for example. Uh, in this country, um, after a, a, a very long uh, fight from, from the right, uh, we arrived at a point where the word socialist was somehow an insult. Now, the same thing was happening with the word Palestine. And it's exactly what Israel dreams of. It's what inspires Israel because if you make even mention of the word Palestine, if you make that uh, a dirty term, a term you can't use, then you're halfway there. But, you know, because people are nervous, they start to do self-censorship, which is again a classic marker of this kind of operation. Thank you. What about you, Huda? Yeah, I, again, I'm not necessarily shocked because I think it was quite obvious at the time that people were being targeted for supporting or being strong supporters of the Palestinian people in the Palestine cause um, and that it was intended to silence, uh, to silence any support for Palestine. And I think it just echoes when we say that it was made to be a toxic environment for people like ourselves for people who supported uh, the liberation of Palestine and that the intention was to silence any voices in support of Palestine. Um, quite it, it's very, very obvious so that, you know, imagine the, you know, the name of your country is a search term for racism when it's been subject to, um, subject to you know, brutal, uh, a brutal Zionist regime displacing Palestinians and oppressing them for um, for over seventy four years, and and Palestine has used a search term for 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 racism against against Jews. I mean, it's ridiculous. And I think anyone with common sense would see how um, how wrong that was, and how, how racist actually it is towards Palestinians and to the pal people of Palestine. But again, it's not necessarily surprising. Actually, it's it's almost a relief to see it laid out and for us to know that. Actually, this is what was happening, and it was it was politically motivated, and I think that's the key thing, because at the time, if you were to say that these accusations were politically motivated, you would be attacked. Um, you know, you probably be attacked for for most things, but um, but now when we can reflect on it, we have more of a voice to be able to call it out for for what it is, and this documentary shows the political nature of these attacks. And, that they, and then a lot of them weren't genuine. It was politicized. 